Uh, Anish, are you there? Yes, yes, I'm there. Hi, Hello, guys. Congratulations, congratulations. Impressive. Uh, Erwin Lamy said that uh, you've much improved blitz and rapid chess skills, and I think this final game, you showed it. Uh, you really played very well. Tell us about it. Um, yeah, there was one moment in the opening. I thought queen takes b2 was very interesting. I think I've uh, messed up the move order a little after uh, rook fc1. I thought uh, maybe I'm wrong. Oh, wait, it's rook b1. Yeah, just uh, rook b1 wins. But then takes takes. Ah, maybe just rook b1 wins. Yeah, I thought it wasn't possible because. Ah, okay, okay, okay. No, then I didn't mix up. No, no, I didn't mix up anything. Because there is this position with the queen on c4 as well. And then I have to play something different because you got the a3 square. Mm -hmm. But yeah, if this, uh, well, okay, then uh, it was a normal game. It was a funny moment. With h3, I blundered h4 in a way. Because my, of course, the intent of h3 is to go g4. But then knight e3, queen g3. Uh, but as it happened, yeah, this I didn't want to allow anymore. But as it happened, uh, after gh, one more move and then h5, suddenly it might be good for me. It wasn't really the plan, but it worked out well. And then... Uh, I mean, then he started to go for something concrete, and I think I'm just first. And in the end, I mean, in Blitz, such miracles work, but uh, I was uh, fortunate to find this idea that um, my queen Should protects h1. Should and d, yeah. That, that was, uh, Harry spotted it three seconds before you did, and uh, uh, it, on the 40 seconds, I think it's a very, very impressive idea to find. Yeah, no, I'm... Uh, uh, well, you know, it, it is obvious that this is a position where... Uh, most likely you are winning, but it's also clear that it's the kind of position where you can choke and make a blunder. Like, uh, I was considering Absolutely, all sorts yeah. of... Uh, it, it, it is exactly the sort of the position where in Blitz it's like a 50-50 because uh, maybe somewhere a 5 comes, so I was thinking about some moves like something to do with um, Queen to E4, like Queen C4, but then let's say check an F5, so... Uh, but then, uh, yeah, then I, when I saw I can just take and take and I protect H1, it looked very good. Also, it's nice when the most like the most natural moves work out, like when it's capture, when it's nothing subtle, but like just a capture, capture, and it's good. So then it's very extra easy to make it work. Yeah. Uh, Anish, uh, first of all, it was a very very exciting match. It seems like uh, the first day, I mean, you you played great, everything went in your favor. The second day. Uh, it, it was Nepo's turn. Suddenly, you know, he was the professor giving the the, the lessons. And today it was just back and forth. It was it, it was a really a wonderful match to call. How were you feeling uh, during this back and forth? No, in fact, with Jan, uh, I've played so many games, and it's always like if you see some of the games, you would think that the other one uh, is completely uh, completely owned by the other guy. Let's say there are some games where Jan crushed me like a total baby. Like mm -hmm. there's one game in Vikanze where he beat me with black and like twenty moves he got a winning position. There are also games where I crushed him completely with both colors. So, uh, but it goes back and forth and uh, yeah, you never know what happens. And uh, uh, it's, it's just always very exciting. I mean, in the candidates, he beat me brilliantly somewhere else. I beat him nicely. And uh, uh, yeah, it's, it's always interesting games. And uh, yes, you know, the, well, it takes uh, two players to, to play exciting chess. So that's why I'm grateful to Jan for... Uh, uh, you know, allowing such uh, interesting games. And uh, I think also today uh, I decided to go for some more playable positions. And um, in a way it worked out. I mean, in, in the first day I won uh, by force in one of the lines, in one of the games, like out of the opening. So I briefly tried to repeat the same thing. Uh, but yeah, it's clear you cannot uh, win by force uh, every day. So I decided today maybe I just try to play chess and uh, I'm glad it worked out. Great. Well, uh, there's a lot of fans anxious to ask you their questions, and Anna has them for you. Anna. Congratulations, Anish, first of all. And there are so many questions to you and just simply your fans saying how much they are rooting for you in the finals. But on that note, I need to bring up a tweet that mentions this potential final between you and Magnus, which was in one of the Norwegian news if we could bring up Tarja's tweet about the arguing elephants <laughs> that can meet in the final, it would be a little extra to meet Giri. What are your thoughts on the arguing elephants battle in the finals? And on that note as well, let me add Porco Rukus's question, how confident you are against Magnus in the finals? You know, I remember uh, one time 
somebody joked, I think in the previous Magnus tournament, uh, not joked, somebody made a statement. He said that uh, in the semifinal, that, well, quite clearly the one who wins this match, or quite likely the one who wins this match is going to win the tournament. I think in this case, uh, given Magnus's form, it was sort of quite clear that the one who wins this match is not going to be the one to win the tournament. But uh, yeah, jokes, uh, that's obviously like a, it's obviously a joke, but uh, jokes aside, yeah, he's a, he's a favorite always, and uh, he's shown good chess uh, in this tournament so far, at least from what I've, what I've seen. I mean, he beat uh, Pabi and Ding like they're babies, but uh, well, they, you know, they don't have active Twitter accounts and they, they haven't got the, the social media skills that I possess. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Good point. Speaking so of your be. Twitter skills. Sorry, Yasser. I, I was just going to refer to Anish that uh, we have a social media update on the players before the games begin. But it has basically become the Anish Giri segment because you are the most active by far. And today you were tweeting about a tactical position, a tactics exercise by John Bartholomew that you solved and then you engaged in a small conversation with Lawrence Trent. Tell us about how that preparation went for today. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Sometimes I uh, see tweets and uh, yeah, John, especially uh, a few of him passing, I saw like uh, there was one about adult improver and also this one. And yeah, he just, I just wanted to sh share my appreciation of his tweets and I didn't know how. And then finally I thought, well, maybe just, I just solved this for, for Christ's sake. And I did. And, uh, but then of course there's always Lawrence who, who is always there when you don't ask him to be there. <laughs> a, li a little bit like myself to, to be fair, but, uh, <laughs> but, but, but a few, but a few ready points less than, than myself. So uh, yeah, no, it, it was, it was fun. I mean, uh, I, I enjoyed it, but frankly, you know, I'm, it's, this storm has been taking so long. Like I've been assuming that I'm going to be fully developing my YouTube channel by now. And uh, I was really not planning to stay here for so long, but uh, you know, it seems that my uh, YouTube channel is, uh, is better without, uh, without content. As you have seen, I'm growing greatly on, on YouTube. They, you know, there are people who say that uh, you need to, um, you need to make the content that you yourself want to make and all these statements. And uh, yeah, you know, I don't want to make any content and look how, how great the channel is going. So uh, there's something, you know, so, something, something to learn for everyone. And maybe this is the future of YouTube. Just not, uh, not sort of uh, upload all kinds of rubbish and nonsense with clickbaits and uh, uh, and stuff where you know, which you, which you know, all the, all the stuff that uh, my colleagues are doing. But maybe just it's better to make a YouTube channel and just uh, just keep playing chess. Maybe why not? Silence. <laughs> Silence is golden. <laughs> exactly. This was exactly. going to be my next question, but let me add that John Bartholomew is with us in the Twitch chat and has sent you a purple heart emoji as response to your comments. So there we have it. But uh, indeed, as you pointed out, you tweeted about your YouTube channel, the contentless channel, soon reaching 10K, and we are looking forward to your celebration. You may even upload a video, as you mentioned, on hitting 10K. But speaking of YouTube, the other day, Huga posted another chess song. This time, it's about the World Championship match between Gary Kasparov and Vladimir Kramnik, written by Kramnik himself. What I do saw you it, think yes. about Kramnik trying to take over your musical career as a songwriter? Honestly, honestly, honestly uh, I saw that. And I was about to click, then I thought, I'm not going to do that. I mean, then next time I saw this one, and it was late. Uh, everybody was sleeping. I was alone. The uh, room was dark. I was just about to go to, uh, to bed. And, you know, these moments when, like, nobody's there in the kitchen, and you, there is a chocolate, and you know you're not supposed to eat the chocolate, and you eat it. <laughs> and I had a little bit of a similar sensation. I thought, nobody's there. Nobody's looking. Let me actually check out this uh, the song, and I was completely surprised. That it was a great, uh, honestly, great stuff. I mean, uh, it was hilarious. The the lyrics are so good, and uh, who also sings it very well. I mean, I okay, it's a matter of taste. Like I, I like some of her songs. Um, to be fair, not like not all. I mean, some I like more than others. Uh, For I like the very one much... that you have written, maybe. <laughs> no, no, this one I think is is, is very is fine. Yeah, but. Uh, there are some of her songs that are resembling the James Bond theme. I think they are great, but uh, uh, yeah, but they, they really sort of resemble the James Bond theme. There are some others, but this one, like in my opinion, I thought it was one of the the best songs because I thought her voice and the uh, lyrics they they match very well. And uh, yeah, I was impressed with Vladimir. I'm curious. Uh, I mean, I don't know. Like Vladimir, he, he thought you have to retire from chess to stop traveling and start writing songs, but 
Vladimir, you don't have to look, uh, look at me. I mean, I didn't retire. I do all the same thing. So what, what was the point? <laughs> I couldn't Thank agree you. with you more. I thought it was a brilliant song, and I encourage yeah, it's good stuff. To go check it out. Uh, Yuga and Vladimir Kramnik teaming up together to make a brilliant performance. Sorry, uh, Anna, continue. Uh, there was just one final question from a Twitch user whose name I need to read out because it's brilliant. The user is Yasser for President. And <laughs> the question is, Anish, do you have any message to Magnus before the finals? Mm -hmm. Well, no, no, not really. Well, perhaps one thing I can say is that uh, it was clear that uh, it was destined that we play in the final. Uh, but I think we've never mentioned uh, what the destiny, the final destiny is. Like, am I to qualify to the final to lose to him or am I to qualify to the final to beat him? What is the, what is the destiny? What's the purpose of this? So, yeah, I hope, I hope uh, he'll think about it and uh, I'll think about it as well. And then let's, let's see what happens. I'm, uh, I'm looking forward immensely. I have gained a lot of confidence in this uh, in the last few rounds. I mean, in particular today, I've proven that I can also beat someone in a game of chess. I don't need the preparation. I don't need any, uh, uh, you know, any extra equipment that is not necessary. So I'm looking forward to, yeah, to test myself against Magnus. It's gonna be it's gonna be challenging. I hope I'm I'm gonna give uh, at the very least a good fight because I mean I know Ding and Fabiano they're so strong that they, you know, uh, they were crushed. I uh, I'm definitely hoping to. You know, to believe myself, and uh, yeah, I'm all, I, as Magnus knows, if he's going to blunder, very likely I'm going to pick it up. So the pressure is on, on him. Well, we can't wait to see what that destiny is, as you mentioned. And now back to Yasser for some final thoughts. Well, first of all, again, Anish, thank you so much for joining us. It's always a treat to have you on the broadcast and for sharing your thoughts. Actually, I wanted to go over to Peter and ask him if he had any questions about today's games, because we there was a lot of learning moments that uh, we shared with our viewers that we thought were, were really interesting. Maybe Peter has some uh, questions for you. Uh, 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 not necessarily. I think uh, the game that sticks the, in the mind the most is always the last one in particular, if we're talking about the person who wanted to win the entire thing. And we did speak about that one. Uh, I just wanted to congratulate Anish on, on a very well-played match and to wish him, uh, wish him a, well, a good luck in the finals. We'll be the one to watch. I will, I will miss parts of it, uh, regrettably, but I will, be, I will be watching from the sidelines with great interest. Uh, that's honestly it from me. Who, I, who are you? Who are you betting on, Peter? <laughs> uh, I, will, I will. I will see. I will see what. <laughs> he's running. He's running to the betting agent oh, as we speak. Look at Peter. This, he, is yeah. he cannot say. He cannot say. <laughs> No, no, I I need to I need to see what odds Ooh. they give me for on you in the what fantasy, this, right? Oh, it, this poll is this poll is rig, rigged, right? This this is not a real poll, right? It, it must be some. It it's is very poll. real. Popcorn time is very real, as we learned it from you, Anish, and uh, we have thirty-four. Wait, this is a fake poll, right? Is it a real no, poll? We have just run this poll on Twitch. My goodness, what's wrong with your audience? <laughs> 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 nice. Oh my gosh. Hey you got to show him who's boss yeah. there, Anish. Yes, no question yes. about it. That, that, that's I'm going to crush him like a bug. Yes, yes. Exactly. That's exactly. The exactly. That's the attitude that you've got to bring for tomorrow. And again, uh, Anish, I want to say thank you very, very much for joining us. I just want to set the table and say tomorrow, folks, is the finals of the Chessable Masters. You're not going to want to miss it. It's the great bromance. Uh, between Magnus and Anish, and I am very much looking forward to it.